In the second part of the course, we'll look more closely at some key components of theological reflection. In the current unit, we're focusing on how the two closely related factors, culture and context, influence our experiences and how we interpret those experiences. Here's a simple example, eating. Every human eats and must do so to stay alive. Thus, each of us experiences eating throughout our life. However, context and culture greatly affect both our experiences and the way we make meaning of them. Think of your most recent meal. Where and when did it take place? What food was served and how was it prepared? Who did the preparing and the serving? Who ate together and how long did the meal take? What customs and rituals were part of the meal? Now contrast this with the meal of a child house laborer in Haiti, a country of desperate poverty even before the recent earthquake. Such children sometimes hover at the edges of food distribution centers. Once the adults standing in line there have received their rations, the children swoop in and grab whatever leftovers the adults have dropped on the ground. Their eating experience is profoundly shaped by their context and culture, just as yours is. It can be assumed for these children, tragically, that eating is simply for survival, with no opportunity for sharing food with others at table, for enjoying its preparation or consumption, indeed for any positive cultural meaning at all. We could draw many other comparisons of eating by groups and individuals, rich and poor, throughout the world. For now, let these examples help to remind us to bring an awareness of cultural context to theological reflection on our experiences and situations.